So the researcher, guardian angel, says the basic line. The pentagram is an evil. It just means earth, wind, fire, water, and spirit. And a peace sign. It's a peace sign. It's also a penis and a vagina. It doesn't say penis and vagina, but a lot of people, a lot of people claim that. Um, this is actually an inverted pentagram. It's a Satanist pentagram. No. You know how this became a symbol of black magic? It was ancient Egypt. It was against the law to make this image in Egypt. Why? Because the Egyptian priests were mathematicians. If you were a priest, it meant you were an engineer, an architect, someone with some skill. You can make this, do geometry, Let's figure out the 3, 4, 5 triangle. We know Pythagoras brought this stuff to, um, to ancient Greece. He was also a cult leader. Wicca has misused this uh, just as much as Christianity did. In ancient Christianity, this was adorned on many ceilings. It wasn't really a pagan symbol until uh, the witch craze of the uh, 17th and 18th centuries. And maybe some part of the 16th. Uh, but yeah, not even the pagans know why this is a symbol for them. It's funny that a religion can be started by looking at the enemy of this uh, enemy of paganism, what they said about it, and then trying to practice the caricature that the Christians have made out of, out of certain forms of yes, devil worship or animism or paganism. I'm not saying all three are the same. But in the eyes of the Christians, they were. They amalgamated so many religions together that were against them. Probably the religions of the Vikings, the Huns, the indigenous people, Islam. Many ancient Christians thought the Muslims worshipped the three-headed god, sometimes called Baphomet or Monopomet or Terpuranian, or all these weird things that aren't Allah and aren't Islam. Halfway true, though, because there are some sects of Islam that have a trinity. But, you know, grand researcher, if you don't know about something, don't come on and say, oh, I've researched it, and then start reading <laughs> reading Wikipedia to people. Not well, They don't even believe in the devil. They can't be evil. <laughs> oh, yeah, because if somebody doesn't believe in good, or e good and evil... They can't do evil. They're beyond right and wrong. You know, and killing a child isn't evil, is it? Do without will. It's funny when they say do without will. They say, but hurt no others. Well, if you're a solipsist, you're the only one here. If everything else is an illusion, which is perfectly acceptable in paganism. I mean, how do you stretch that? Are they pro-life now? Are they not for abortion? Are they all vegans? Are they all against the death penalty? I mean, I, there's a lot of implications when you say things like that. Or, they could just be saying it. I don't know. It's surprising. The, the Grand Researcher. That's going to be the name for him.